If you have a central vacuum system in your RV with multiple inlets, the Vacport automatic dustpan is a great feature to add. We recently installed the Dometic RV Vac Plus Central Vacuum Cleaner and today we're going to install the Vacport accessory. It's easy to install and easy to use. After the installation you simply sweep the dirt to the Vacport and it disappears. It even has LED lights to illuminate the dirt's path into the Vacport. Let's install it right now. The Vacport can also be installed in the home and is available with and without the installation kit. Follow all cautions, warnings, and installation instructions when installing the back port. Tools required. Tools required for the back port installation are a jigsaw or handsaw, a drill, a drill bit large enough for the jigsaw blade, PVC cement or equivalent, Phillips screwdriver, and safety glasses. Back port installation. Find a suitable location in close proximity to the central vacuum cleaner. Place the trim plate on the wall, flush with the floor, and draw a line to cut out for the back port installation using the inside dimension of the trim plate. Drill a hole on the inside of the line. Use a jigsaw or handsaw and carefully cut out the opening for the back port. Attach the trim plate to the wall using the two shorter Phillips pan head screws provided. Connect the low voltage central vac wires to the yellow wires on the vac port using the wire nuts provided. Leave six inches of slack in the white wire to prevent tension at the connection point. Open the vac port inlet valve to make sure the vac port connection is working properly before attaching the two inch flex hose to the central vacuum. Attaching the back port to the main central vacuum. The elbow fitting is useful in tight spaces, but it is not always necessary for the installation. If you have a vacuum pipe installed instead of a 2 inch diameter flex hose, run the pipe straight into the T-coupler. It may be necessary to cut the flex hose to length for your installation. The black flex tube couplers, four supplied, should be screwed counterclockwise into the 2 inch flex hose. The opposite end attaches to a pipe fitting with a push and a twist. Do not glue at this connection. In our installation, the 45 degree T coupler connects directly to the central vacuum. Glue this connection. Use the 45 degree T coupler to attach the existing hose or pipe. The coupler at the vac port should be glued to the vac port unit. Use glue to attach the opposite end of the elbow fitting and press fit the threaded coupling. If the elbow is not used in the installation, press fit a flex tube coupler directly into the pipe coupler. Connect the opposite end of the vac port flex hose to the T coupler. Do not glue this connection. Attach the vac port with the two longer flathead screws. Attach the white wire to the flex hose using tie wraps and tape any loose hanging electrical connections using electrical tape. Plug the unit in and the vac port installation is complete. Vac port operation. Use your foot to lift the door of the inlet valve and the unit automatically turns on. Sweep the dirt and debris directly into the back port. Use your foot to close the inlet valve which will turn the unit off. The back port installation is quick and easy and when you need to clean up inside the RV it's just the touch of your toe. For more information on the vac port and to watch the RV Vac Plus installation video, visit www.dometic.com forward slash USA.